know why you brought us back here after we had to watch that crap yesterday? Like, what? It's not crap. You, you know? thought you saw crap when you were looking at yourself. You it's know? total bullshit. It was it's all bullshit. bullshit. It's, it's going to be very useful to your career. Sean, just tell me this. Yesterday, you were adamantly opposed to this. Why did you change your mind? I'm a man all about the bottom line. You took the time to taste the poetry. I'm just, I'm, I'm in it for the business. Go ahead. T tell me yeah. what you what you want to say. Why is he filming? Documentary it's called viral content. If you open your eyes and your mind to other things, you'd understand that already. Right. So, here are your sales over the years. And they're not looking very pretty in this area. Okay, Eskimos know was a little bump in the road. Alopecia was your peak. And what I'm worried about is mumps, etc. It's a great record, but that's not going to cut it in 2012. You might as well just call it etc. Where do you see your six right here? Okay. Subterranean. Subterranean. Subterranean sales? What does that mean? You're going to pay people to listen to that shit. So you have an option. We, we released the documentary as is. Posthumous sales are the new thing. Everyone's doing it right now. Look at these numbers we got here. Whitney Houston, 10,000% up after it. And think about that. This film could be your bodyguard. The Beastie Boys, after MCA's death, over 1,000% up. Any one house selling 140,000 records in one day after her death. Biggie, certified diamond. You've never heard of that. What does no. that even mean? You don't even worry about it. Well, you won't know. Get this attitude. You'll never hear about it. And lastly, my man Tupac right here. The one most important to your guy's career. Nine albums, posthumous. What do you mean posthumous? You telling me you think he's still well, alive? Nine. Each of them in the top ten. Andy played Coachella. When did you guys do that? It wasn't really him. Well, the point is, it really wasn't you. You want us to be a hologram. No, I don't want you to be a hologram. I want you to be a ghost. This okay. situation is is beautiful. Magnolia. Aruba. You can go sit in the shade and cash checks for two years. Or, Magnolia can tear up the tickets. You go back and do a shitty minivan doing high school dances. Brandicon found you. Are meals included? America's finest young documentarian, Garrick Reed, the man behind the acclaimed At Both Ends, brings the noise yet again with a look at an American band so shocking they said it'll never be made. Over five albums, the members of Y established an unmistakable musical persona and legions of passionate fans who hang on their every word. But little has been known about the darker side of the Y saga. The sheer amounts of drugs and booze consumed could have killed 20 ordinary men. The sex was wild. It's so nice. He's insatiable. A freak. He just can't get enough. The rage was real. Get the fuck! There's a fine line between genius and madness. The members of Y obliterate that line, crossing the threshold into sheer, unmitigated insanity where no one is safe, especially the members of Y. That's it. Yep. See Y's slow, excruciating death spiral, only in Garrick Reed's newest shocking expose. Join us. For a descent into the dark, glorious hole of why. Coming soon. <laughs>